All right, we're joined by head coach Kyle Smith following today's announcement that WSU will be a number seven seed in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2008. They'll face number 10 seed Drake in Omaha in the first round Thursday or Friday. Those details are still to come on timing and TV. Well, coach, uh, give an opening statement, thoughts on the day, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, it's been a really exciting day to get our loyal fans to show up and watch us go through that process. There's um, trying to prep our guys for all the attention they're going to get and the interviews and autographs. So that's just part of the deal. And drawing Drake, who uh, unfortunately I watched them play their <laughs> their conference tournament and they're good. They got a I just remember they have point guard that really defends. They got a big wide body and they got the best player in the league and and the coach's son. So it'll be a really good challenge and. And they probably got the best teammate in the world in Carlos Rosario. And he hopefully doesn't rat us out too much. He definitely knows. He's got good intel on the, on our program. All right, we'll open next question. Yeah, I mean, I want to ask about Drake, but just like you guys have been pretty much unlocked for a while. So I'm sure this has been on your mind a little bit. But just like now that it's official, is it relief? Is it excitement? Or where's kind of your head at? You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of just uh, a little numb. Like not just kind of. It is like, hey, this is exciting. Kind of know what's coming. Um, relief, I guess, a little bit, but right away you're just like, let's go get the, let's dig on the film. <laughs> let's let's see what we're looking at. And uh, I said, like, luckily I didn't watch too many games, but I, last Sunday I think I I saw them play, so I got a good feel. And was a, those two teams are awesome, Indiana State and Drake, duking it out. And uh, in there, like I said, DeVries is really a heck of a player, so it'll be a it'll be a great challenge for us. When you watched them on TV the other day, did they remind you of any team you guys have already played this year, or are they just like a total different? Mm, they get into you a little bit defensively, so uh, I felt like their point guard, they could do a couple things. That are, their, their point guard can really defend, and they got a big wide body at center physical guy. And then uh, I'm trying to think, I don't know if there's anyone like DeVries in our league. He's just a, I guess, you know what, he's a little like Keon Brooks, not quite is uh, bouncy to say the least, but he's a bucket getter, man. He can make long threes, mid range, he can score and end of the clock. And when they need a big shot, they got a guy to go to. So I guess I saw enough to know that I wasn't thinking about playing him, but it was like just kind of, um, I guess it was just, a, it was a Sunday. <laughs> it was a Sunday, I was just watching him. Coach, I know it's been a lot of, you know, one game at a time and a whirlwind and stuff, but when you look back at the, the start of the season being picked 10th, I mean, what, what just comes to mind now that you guys are going to the to March Madness, I know people may not believe this, but I really don't. I didn't know we were picked tenth till a couple months in the season, but uh, um, but I but I like I said, what I told the team on this summer in August, I said, man, I think we have good talent. As I've been doing it thirty years, and uh, and there, but there's so much more to the talent piece. It's about getting the team put together, and and even that team that was a Final Four NIT team had as much talent, maybe more, but we weren't as uh, together, and so it was neat to see them. You don't know. Honestly, very nervous. I remember being up. I told Ted Boyle yesterday, I said I was up all night after we got drilled by Utah on the road. Didn't sleep before we played Colorado. And I just didn't know how we were going to do. We, and we lost, but we didn't cave. And I just kind of, that was a moment in the season where I was like, I think we got a chance here. And when we beat Oregon State at home, I was like, okay, we got a Pac 12 win. I think it was actually a big moment. And then we just kind of played better and kept getting better as a, a good team would. And, um, and hopefully we can we can rally up and enjoy the moment and play our best. Awesome. And I mean, did you guys did you have any expe expectations going into today about where you guys would land uh, or anything like that? You know, it's it is a forbidden to speak of such things in my household. And Rocco was trying to get me to bite on where do you think our seat is. I said, I just want to be in. I I did feel comfortable that we're going to be in because everyone told me we're in. But um, I think it's about right. You know, I think. Uh, just based on what we did, and, and you know, I think we would have could have finished a little stronger, we could have been in a little little better spot. Um, but uh, you know, it's they're going to play someone that's good, and if you win, they get better. That's just how it works. Coach, will this week's preparation look any different than any other regular road game? Yeah, it will because you're chartering out a couple days before. There's just constant attention, a lot of excitement. It's almost. Uh, that's a, managing that is as much as any preparing for them. It's like how are we going to deal with the adrenaline, the the newness of it. Um, I want to say Drake was, Drake was in last year. Is that right? I don't know. It helps. It helps being there before. So um, trying. I, I've been there. My first one. I remember and how our team was and trying to lay that out for them. Uh, here's what's coming, and we're going to meet 
in about a couple hours here and just kind of give them a little thumbnail sketch what Drake's about and more importantly is almost the schedule and like you're going to get a police escort to the games it's going to be weird it's going to you know you're a charter out there and, and there's just going to be there's going to be an excitement that you don't necessarily uh, you, until you go through it. You described this season as surreal. How surreal was it to uh, hear your name finally called out there today? <laughs> like I said, I was I was told by someone close to me that said, "I don't want you to be the the the, the best coach to never go to the NCAA tournament." I, I think I kind of tucked that away going in the season. I was like, you know what? That's what I told the team. I said, "We have that team, so there's no excuses." And it was it was just like mission accomplished. And and I really, you know, as players, we really don't set. We always have that in the back of our mind that, you know, that's kind of the ultimate goal you want to get there. It just, we hadn't been in there. Like I said, Miles has a vision on fi Final Four, and I said, Let, let's make sure we're in first. I, I like that. you got to dream big. If you never think never think of those, you'll never make it. Um, but it's neat to see these guys put the work in. They know how hard it is, and uh, to earn this opportunity has been, been terrific. It's been, and we couldn't be happier for uh, uh, this group been pretty easy to coach. You talked about obviously such hard work to get to this moment and you, you kind of touched on it a little bit earlier with the losses to Colorado and Utah early on in Pac-12 play. How proud of you are you of this group and their resiliency to keep moving forward and, and to be in this position that they are today? Uh, it's awesome. And like I said that when the leadership comes from them who were there organic and I said like someone like Andre who's been in the program for four years and his emotional maturity, his maturity and then his emotional maturity to keep this group together and help guide those guys. And I said the other, the other six guys that returned the program, although some of their roles weren't as big on the court, they were just as important. And that's the A.J. Rojosis, the Ben Olsons, Miles, who've been in the program for three years, it helped being around those guys. So um, they all contribute to that, to where I think that where the program has been able to improve year over year. Um, and that, that's kind of what it's brought in here to do is to establish a program, and we've done that. It's been a few years since you yourself were in a tournament at St. Mary's, and you kind of touched on it just a few yeah. minutes ago. Um, is there anything you're going to impart on this team in terms of once you get to the arena on game day? This is maybe how I will, be. but it'll be hard to beat Coach Shaw to it. He, <laughs> <laughs> he's been in a lot of them, and uh, he's won a lot of games. Been to a Final Four uh, himself as an assistant coach and, and a head coach of his two. But he'll he'll. He's actually got more experience at it, but I've been enough to I'll lay the groundwork, but he'll have some things that maybe I don't think of too that uh, he we, we thrive this time this time of year and want to keep getting better, keep improving, stay focused. This is obviously a culmination of a five year journey yeah. at least to this point right sure um, was there ever a moment where you're like, man I just is this going to happen are we going oh, to every to day? every day <laughs> you don't know you don't must not know coaches very well. We are uh, <laughs> neurotics. Um, and uh, no, I didn't put that. I honestly didn't put that much pressure on. But there are moments where anxiety can get the best of anyone, and myself too. Is like because the unknown is a little disturbed. Like early in the season, you just don't quite know how the team's going to respond. Like I said, we scrimmage. I'll, I've been saying our first scrimmage, we only won by one. We need Isaac to block a shot against a lower level team. Well, they're an NCAA tournament team too, so they weren't, they weren't too bad, Montana State. So, but it was. Uh, you know, just it, we're a lot better then than than we now than we were then. So every year's a journey. You know, there are certain moments. I think I think like I said, beating Boise State was where they're good. They're a tournament team. I think that gave us some confidence. And even like and I keep going back to the obvious ones, Arizona. But I'm telling you, we beat Oregon State at home. We were that first half wasn't pretty. I think we were nervous and and it took everything we had to to try to get that one done. And those and those kind of the moments that stick out to me.